Welcome to In Pursuit 360. Today, we're going to talk about, and I brought it up before, we're going to talk about the old question about, well, nobody seems to be hiring. Nobody's hiring anywhere. I can't get hired anywhere. And why is that? It's like nobody's hiring. I, I apply, but they don't pick me up. Well, you know what? Well, I'm going to explain to you how that works, all right, and what's going on with it right now. All right, so here we go. You ready? Here we go. All right, welcome to Pursuit 360. We're going again. So today we're going to talk a little bit about why people feel like it's almost impossible to get hired anywhere. And you, you've got to understand, so I'm, I'm in, I used to be in Virginia. Um, I can tell you there's signs all over there. I'm in Georgia now, and there are signs all over the place. This county's hiring. That county's hiring. This county sheriff's office, this county PD, uh, this city PD, uh, you know, there are all kinds of, of police departments around here that are shorthanded. They're hiring. They're hiring like crazy. So the problem is, is that they may have five, six, seven openings, right? They, they're that short. But if they belong to a regional academy, they may only have two seats open, right? So they may need seven people, but they only have two seats. So they hire their top two people, and maybe you're number three. It sucks to be you, right? They're hiring two right now. They need seven. You're number three. You're next on the list. You are next on the list. But unfortunately, because of budget restraints, they put the two in the academy they go all the way through. The next academy starts, but they can't afford to start anybody yet. Well, next thing you know, it's nine months to 12 months later, so they just go ahead and run a new announcement. But they'll keep your application on file for a year. But now the year's passed. Well, now you got to reapply. Then you got to go through it all over again. Don't be fooled into thinking that you're always going to be the best, or you're always going to be number two, or you're always going to be number three. The next time you apply, some other people that have other experience may come in, and now you're number five. And now they can only put one in the academy, right? So it's not that you're no good. It's not that they don't want to pick you. It's that they don't have enough seats in the academy to pick everybody they need. Everybody's shorthanded. There are multiple departments around me right now that are down three, four, five, eight slots, and they need to hire them. But everybody around here attends a regional academy. And if you attend a regional academy, you only get so many seats. I think the most that we ever put through in Stafford while I was there was like four. We'd hire four. But we were always down more than four people. But you that's all the seats you could get. Right? They gotta limit the class sizes on these regional academies. I mean, it's not like a state troopers academy where they can hire you know, 40 or 50 people and they've got this massive private academy all to themselves and dedicated instructors and, and you know, dedicated land and, and you know, budget money and everything's good and golden and whatever, right? I mean, state police academies are different than the local academies. So, or even the jurisdictions that have their own academy, they'll hire 20, 20 people at a time, 30 people at a time. But those are usually departments that have like 800 officers. 600 officers, right? They're, they're big. They're big departments. So, uh, like D.C., right? D.C., Washington, D.C. will hire. They'll have an academy with like 60 people in it. Uh, so, that's what's going on. That's why you're not getting picked up. It's not that you're no good. It's just that they only have, even if they have a lot of openings, they only have so many slots in the academy class. Or even if you're already certified, I mean, they can only handle X number of new people at that moment based on their budget, based on their training officers, based on who knows. There are a lot of things that go into this. But like driving around here in in the northern Georgia area that I'm in, there are counties and cities. We went to the North Georgia Fair. There were three different law enforcement agencies with tables and booth setups like, hey, we're hiring. We need you. So they're out there. And like I said, you if, if you have a primary department that you're really looking to work for and everybody else wants to work for them because they're they're like premier um, you got a lot of competition I'm telling you the best thing you can do is find a multitude of departments within an area that you want to live in and start applying to multiple departments all at one time get them out there go get your certification go get some road time experience 
So that way, when you want to go to that premier department, I'll almost guarantee you that you're getting beaten out by officers that are already certified who have done their time in a smaller department or in a different department, right? They've already got road time and all that stuff, and now they go to the premier agency. So you need to keep that in mind. Keep an open mind. You need to be willing to do what you got to do. One of the guys I train, he tried to get a job in law enforcement in New York State for years and couldn't get in, and finally ended up getting hired at Stafford in Virginia. So he moved his wife and kid out of New York, down to Virginia, into Stafford, was a deputy there for several years, did a great job, I miss him, and finally, uh, for certain reasons, he, he ended up having to leave. Um, and ended up going back to New York. But he left the state. He left his home to go get a job. All right? So that's all I want to say about that. Be open-minded. Go where you need to go to get into the into the career field. Get your certification. And then move around to where you want to go. So do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button. Thumbs up. Thumbs down if you have to. But tell me why. And uh, make sure to watch that bell notification down there. Tell you when the next video is coming out. Meanwhile, y'all be safe out there.